Hey everybody, Steve here back on the N-Scale Cajon Sub. Welcome back to the layout. This is going to be layout update number 15. Uh, been a few months, but uh, working on the layout, you know, mostly doing electrical and things like that under the lower level. So I really didn't have a whole lot of stuff to update up until now. So I've made a little bit more progress, so I think it's time for an update. So let's go ahead and check out what's been going on in the layout. All right, uh, starting with the lower level uh I think last time we left off, we had just put in uh, classification track uh, seven, I think it was done. So uh, we've now got classification track eight, nine, and 10 for the BNSF uh, pretty much in. Uh, tracks eight and nine are glued down, wired. And then uh, classification track number 10, the last one there, as you can see, it just uh, needs to have the feeders soldered and the uh, track just glued down once that's done and then the feeder is obviously connected to the uh the bus so um real quick what i've been working on a lot underneath the lower level um that's kind of a snapshot of the east end of my uh, lower level yard just so you guys can see i'll pan around to the west end here in a minute but uh when i first started this layout um pretty much all of this right here um only really had like maybe one wire and they were kind of all daisy chained together under here and you know off the same couple feeders um off you know one lead coming off one of the main buses over there so since then um the whole classification tr lower level has its own bus now and that's really what i've been working on uh, i've been putting in the bus all the way around from the um east end down here all the way around to the the west end down here and in the process really just up you know hooking up all those feeders that were dropped and never hooked up so i know it doesn't look like a lot's really gone on on the lower level but uh, there's definitely been a lot of progress as far as electrical underneath um probably at least a couple um you know, I don't know. I do the feeders every couple feet. So times two, you know, for 10 tracks uh, plus the arrival departures, you know, that's uh, I don't know, 13 tracks all the way around that I had to wire. So uh, quite a bit of wiring, quite a bit of bus wires that were dropped and I needed to go ahead and connect to that, that yard bus once I got that installed. So um, with that, I've also been uh, installing turnouts i've got in ds64s i've got three ds64s down this end now um i think i had a few of those installed in some of the turnouts last time because we'd done a little bit of switching down here um still have one down here i need to put in but walking down here to this end of the yard um uh, all these all these turnouts now have tortoises installed and they're all connected to uh the DS64 so I can do switching down here in the middle section of San Bernardino yard. I do need to put one more DS64 down this end and that'll take, that'll uh, just be for these two turnouts over here. And then eventually I'll have a couple crossovers um, off the yard lead and arrival departure track number three that I'll install later on and hook up to that that last DS64. So, but two DS64s installed here and I think about five or six tortoises installed down this end. And then moving down here to the west end of San Bernardino yard, I think there was about nine or 10 tortoises I installed down this end and two DS64 so far and I have another two I need to install. So. Uh, the one, the red pins are ones I just need to hook up to a uh, DS64 still, but they're, uh, the tortoises are already there and installed. So, um, a lot of, uh, wiring electrical, you know, this, none of this had a bus, uh, before. And like I said, it just had feeders dropped and it was this section, the next section, all the way around to that other end. We were just looking at pretty much just had feeders dropped and none were really wired other than maybe one per track maybe one or two per track. And that was just to get power to that track. But since then, I've gone ahead and wired all those up along with the DS64s as I go and the tortoises um, as I go and install those. So um, a lot of work, I had to pull everything out to do it. You know, I did, I did sections at a time. So I know it's not very pretty 
you know, and it's uh, probably something, you know, it's not much for an update, but, you know, it is what it is. It's something that has to be done. And, you know, as you go, sometimes you, you have to go back and, and do th some things later on just because you either didn't want to do them at the time or maybe you just didn't have the materials to do them then. So it's kind of my dilemma, and I'm glad I'm mostly done with wiring now. So, But uh, that's kind of it for the lower level, and uh, I'll move over to the upper level now, what's been going on. All right, on the Helix, nothing really new here other than I've started the UP line, putting that track in. Um, i got to start, you know, finish working up the grade uh, up towards Blue Cut and Keenbrook. But I uh, haven't done much of that yet. I uh, wanted to get some other stuff done first. But um, as you can kind of see on that upper level, we kind of got some hills starting to take shape. So uh, this is something I've been working on. Oops. This is something I've been working on, and, um, you know, I had already done some of this here. Um, actually, I don't know if I did that for the last update. I can't remember if I did or not. It's, that's how long it's been since I did an update. But um, new hills going in and um, getting ready to put a skin on those with some plaster cloth and then come back with sculpt -a mold and start painting. So that's that area there. And that'd be just east of, or actually just west of Blue Cut and probably east of Keenbrook. So it's kind of where this area is, but it's starting to take shape a little, as you can see. All right, moving on up towards Cajon Junction, Blue Cut area. I think we had these hills in last time. Um, didn't have any of the texture on them, but we have kind of, as you can see, we've started adding some texture and starting to put like a base coat down of the base color paint. So, um, not done. Still have to add ground cover, rocks, debris, um, brush, things like that, and grass here and there. You know, it is Cajon, so it's somewhat semi-desert, very dry uh, climate uh, most of the year. Uh, there are some areas, sometimes the year where it's pretty green, but uh, most of mine will probably be fairly dry looking, but, uh, um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll play it around with it as I go. So this is another area I redid. I uh, wasn't a big fan of the way this was looking before the scenery behind it. It was kind of, the scenery kind of came out to here, the hill. So I chopped a lot of that back and then I went ahead and put in a more of kind of like a um, runoff from behind the UP High Line. And as you can see, there's a concrete culvert there. I got to finish that little bit of scenery. In fact, I just built that concrete culvert and put it in. And then I'll have a lot of, you know, there'll be some a lot of trees in here um, in those areas. Uh, so you'll, a lot of vegetation. And then I went ahead and built this, um, you know, these bridge wings, uh, painted them, washed them, detailed them with graffiti. And I did both wings and the bridge piers. Not sure if I'm going to leave them or not i i, I mean it's just made out of there everything there is made out of wood i i guess it looks okay um and then the the girders the plate girders um those are actually glued on with epoxy so i've still got a um, got some other details i'm waiting to come in that i'm going to end up running below the girder uh, and be lower, like bridge beams so and then eventually i'll start detailing in here like you know the wash underneath the um the cajon junction bridge so anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments it's uh mostly what i've got done so far um did a little bit more scenery up here past behind in the back of cajon junction and uh i'll show you guys some trains running by here in a few but uh i think it came out all right it's, it's starting to take shape um and then this um behind the up high line what i'm going to do with that is i'm actually going to drop i'm going to cut um, the, the, the pink foam that a lot of people use on their layouts for, for scenery. I'm going to cut that to shape and then actually detail it and then drop it back in there, like put it behind the UP High Line. So, um, it'll actually have its, uh, it'll be a little bit different way of doing the scenery back there, but it'll be easy to remove if I ever need to. And it'll come out in one section, so. But, uh, yeah, get ready to start detailing uh, this area, Cajon Junction, and, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, I also started working a little bit of the 
scenery over here just before Sullivan's Curve. Um, getting ready to start, um, you know, doing the same with this with plaster cloth and sculpt the mold. And then um, that'll have a lot of vegetation. There's a lot of trees back there in that part of, um, you know, Cajon Junction. So um, it'll try, it'll almost be like a, a scenery break between uh, the three triple tracks and the UP High Line there as it, you know, starts to make the turn to Sullivan's Curve. So um, I also did these, I got these uh, drilled out. I had to cut the um, fascia. Uh, so I got these cut out for my uh, controllers like I have over there at DeVore. Um, I don't have one over here to show you. The um, but it'll be the the siding controllers for uh, Cajon Junction. It'll be for the um, that turnout and the the siding turnout at Cajon Junction. And then um, on the other end, this turnout here, um, I've got this one cut out. So um, this was uh, pretty easy to cut this um, hardy board or whatever it's called. Yeah, I just took a, um, a straight edge and a box cutter and went over it about four or five times, scored it really good, and then I was able to pop that piece off without having to take the whole piece of fascia back off. I was afraid I was going to have to do that and kind of lose all the, um, you know, have to redo some of my scenery. So anyway, um, those hopefully next update, these turnout controllers will be in for the uh, Cajon Junction. And I do have another DS64 I put in there and the... Um, the main, the crossovers for Cajon Junction, the four crossovers, those are actually already uh, hooked up and working. So uh, we can run down main, up and down main three now, you know, from this point down to the lower level. So, but uh, that's about it for the upper level. I didn't, haven't done any other scenery over uh, past. I'll just give you guys a quick peek. Um, nothing's really changed over here yet. So, but uh, hopefully on the next update, I'll start maybe having a little more scenery coming out this way, so. All right, and just kind of wanted to give you guys a back, back shot of the other scenery that's kind of the hills that have started coming in over on this this side. So again, this is my UP High Line, and then you can see the BNSF uh, triple tracks. Um, I tried to get it where, and I tried to make it where uh, the B, the UP High Line won't be completely hidden by the hills. They'll, the, there might be a few tops that might uh, block the track, but uh, you should still be able to see the trains passing behind the hills. So, kind of like it does in real life. Uh, there's some areas you can see the train and completely, and other areas you can't. Or you can just see maybe the tops of like an intermodal or something. And then once this is, once this inside section is done, and I, I'll probably start working on fascia here um, that'll be a little bit higher so it'll act as a backdrop for um, you know looking out towards this side of the layout and then I'll start doing the rest of the scenery around here so but uh, yeah coming along I got to get that UP Highline track installed I'm just I'm still waiting on concrete flex so if anyone has any micro engineering concrete flex track that they uh, are willing to sell uh, definitely let me know in the comments I'd i definitely be interested. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. I'm going to hopefully close with a few clips of some trains running, you know, over the new section of scenery. But, uh, again, layout 15. Layout update number 15. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, you know, thanks for stopping in. And appreciate all the feedback, comments. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Take care.